Hello guys, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the African Business Talk Show. My name is Rufo Chifu and I am the CEO founder of HR Run Systems and for a very long time now I've been helping a lot of investors like you get started on the African continent. So if you want to invest, then just contact me, okay? Numbers on the screen and let's talk about your business. Today's video, I will be talking about um, tobacco production or tobacco farming in Zambia. And this is coming from a comment from one of my subscribers who actually came and then, you know, did some request. He actually dropped a comment and told me that, hey, talk about Zambia, talk about tobacco production, okay? And I have done my research and this is what I'm about to give you right now in this video. So stay right there, don't move a muscle. I'll be right back after the break. Hello guys, hello my business in Africa YouTube community. My name is Rufo Chifo and I have been having a lot of questions from investors like you asking me which African country should I invest in? I therefore decided to create this. I also decided to create this other tool right here. So you don't need to come and ask me that question again. You just need to go on Amazon Kindle and download this book. Click on the links in the description box below and download. Welcome back guys, welcome back. I'll be taking this comment from one of my subscribers and as I said, he requested that I do this video. So if you're watching me right now, make sure you drop me a comment to let me know which videos you want me to do in the future, okay? And, I'll, and I'm going to do a video based on your comments, which is going to benefit the whole uh, business in Africa community, okay? Now this person is Vinwil Chileshi. Vinwil Shileshi. I don't know if you say he or she, but Vinwil Shileshi, if you're watching me right now, thank you so much for commenting. And I hope you're going to keep coming back to comment more, okay? So that I just keep doing videos like this for you. And the person said, um, that was one week ago, help with a video on tobacco farming in Zambia. He also commented that, I am a Zambian and currently been planning to venture into agribusiness, specifically tobacco and soya beans. Now, this person commented under the video Top 3 Millionaire Business Ideas to Invest in Zambia which I did some few months ago, okay? And recently, she or he commented on this video. So, I want to do a video about tobacco farming in Zambia, okay? And the first thing we have to know is that tobacco farming in Zambia is one of the most profitable farming uh, crops that you can find out there in Zambia. And not just in Zambia, even in the US, in Zimbabwe, all other countries do well when it comes to tobacco, okay? And the good thing about Zambia is Zambia is a small country, landlocked country in the southern part of Africa, but they have very vast land, vast arable land, okay? So let's look at, you know, um, what you need to actually get started with this kind of business. Now, you might want to ask me that from my research you can spend close to about $1,500 plus to you know to farm one hectare of uh, tobacco and you're going to be making over $3,000 when it comes to revenue so it's a lot a lot a lot of money that you'll be making if you have you know thousands and thousands of hectares okay just to let you know there are two different types of tobacco that you can farm the first one is the flu cured tobacco and the second one is the burning tobacco now the difference is I don't really know maybe we're gonna get that later but I just want to give you the four steps you understand that you can take to actually get started with your tobacco farm in Zambia okay step number one is to do a survey okay so if you are in Zambia it's good to go around and do a survey and see where best tobacco do well okay and you can just like you know, you know, ask around, you know, visit other farms and make your research, do a survey. Now, if you want us to do that survey for you, of course, you're going to pay us. Uh, we're going to walk through our consultants who are based in Zambia and they're going to do a survey for you to tell you exactly which areas is best or which areas are best for tobacco farming, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is you have to actually purchase your land. Now, depending on how much you have, you can start with maybe just one hectare or you can start with a hundred or ten thousand hectares depending on how much you have to invest but in Zambia um, a hectare you know with the one that you can actually have land tied to and all of this will cost about eight thousand US dollars but it all depends on where it is located and how 
accessible the land is okay so you can you can negotiate and have cheaper or more expensive depending on you know where it's located so step number two is actually to acquire land okay and then step number three you need to cultivate and other cultivation you have to like get the equipment if your land is big you cannot cultivate with your hand right so you probably have to hire equipment hire tractors machines that, that are going to plow the land and then plant and in this step also you're going to hire you know labor local labor is quite available and cheap as well in Zambia and you just need to hire labor and then get started tobacco plants take like 13 months to get ready so if you start the process now then you know you're going to make start making money after 13 months okay now step number four but before I go to step number four have you downloaded my books on Amazon Kindle if you have not downloaded then what are you waiting for you've got the unique business idea for every African country is right here Everything you need to know about starting in every American country is right here. And you've also got the business startup brain box in Africa. Where you're going to find everything that has to do with estimated cost of starting up a company in every African country, estimated time, and of course, all the procedures that you need. So these books are on Amazon Kindle. You can just go and download them for $9.9. The links are in the description box below. Just go right now and get your own copy, okay? So I was on step number four, right? My final Another step is you know while you are cultivating our advice that you start looking for clients depending on the output or the number of tons that you can produce from your farm so you get to go out there and look for a market for your product okay and this should go hand in hand while you're doing like cultivation okay so look for markets so that by the time you are through you're, you're done with the cultivation you are you harvesting and you dry them you just need to send them to your clients and start making money immediately Ladies and gentlemen, those were the four steps on how to get started with tobacco business in Zambia and I hope you learned something out of this. If you didn't, drop in the comment section below, let's keep talking. And as I said, I just want you to let me know which topics you want me to cover next and I'm going to do that video just for you, okay? Because I'm here to create content for the community, right? But remember, if you come to me one-on-one -on, -one on WhatsApp, the numbers on the screen, I'm likely going to ask you to pay my consultancy fees, right? I mean, it's normal. A lot of people come to me on WhatsApp and by the time I tell them, hey, you need to um, uh, maybe download my books, it's obligatory, send me an email and things like that, they just bail out. I don't know why. So you come to me on one on one, then I'm going to charge you for that. So if you're watching me right now, you might just want to leave a comment here and I will do a video based on your comments, okay? Because that video will be for the whole Africa, business in Africa community, right? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. I love Africa and I hope you do too. See you in my next video. Ciao.